What do you think of my beard? You asked me that yesterday, and yesterday I told you I liked it. That wasn't yesterday, that was three days ago. <laughs> What's the difference? Huge. Then it was just long stubble, now it's a fully fledged beard. My apologies. So you still think it looks okay? Yeah, it looks great. Really? You don't think it weakens my chin? No. You sure? You see, I think it weakens my chin. No, it does quite the opposite. What, it makes my chin look huge? Oh, great. Do I look like a bearded Kirk Douglas? No. It's not what I meant. I meant... It looks rugged. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Mm. Well, what did you expect? I don't know. I was just bored. You were bored with your face? Yeah. It's just been... the same. For so long, I just got sick of it. Well, there's not a lot you can do about that, is there? Except... grow a beard. You could get a piercing. Oh, no. That's a bit permanent, isn't it? Besides, I'm not sure how bored I am of this yet. It might just be a passing phase. Don't so, make any rash decisions. So, a beard was picked purely for its temporary nature? Yeah, yeah, if I don't like it, I can get rid of it in minutes. And then if I do like it, I am going to keep it forever. You could style it. No! No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Sorry. So, do you think girls will like it? It's hard to say. They might like its aesthetic qualities, but you know, when it gets down there, Yes! Yeah, the contact phase. You see, that's my fear. But there are plenty of other bearded men out there in the world whose other halves seem more than able to cope. My dad, for one. Yeah, and your mum divorced him. Yeah. Yeah, but not because of the beard. How do you know? Because a new husband has one as well. Fair enough. If my mum can take 30 plus years of perpetual... <laughs> facial hair contact. Then there's got to be a fair few other birds out there in the world willing to put up with it too. Putting up with things is not traditionally considered a good starting point for a relationship. So you think I should shave it? No! But you keep on going on about it. Are you trying to convince me to convince you to shave it? No, I just want an honest opinion. Which I gave you at the beginning of the conversation. What was it? I like it! Why do you like it? I don't know. It's manly. How manly? Too manly. No. Ah, so not manly enough? No, no. It depends how manly you like women. I like women. Well, if a woman's tastes go to the, the big burly bouncer type with a little gangster goatee beard, then yeah, you might be a couple of inches short of her G-spot. But if she wants a more intellectual, artistic looking fella who looks a, a little bit like a monkey, then yeah you'll be right up her alley. What are you saying? What, I look like an art teacher? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> look. This conversation is starting to get on my tits. Okay. Can we go? One more question. One more. One, I promise. Hit me. Do I look Jewish? Do I? Do I look Jewish? <laughs> or do I? Why in the name of Jehovah would you think that you look Jewish? Do all Jews have beards? Some do. So do some Italians. I can safely say you don't look Italian. But I do look Jewish. Yeah, you're the next Woody Allen. He never had a beard. Oh, a Jew without a beard. What are the odds? All right, fine. Fine. So I don't look Jewish? No. Good. Not in a stereotypical way. Great. Do you have something against the Jews? No, God, no. But it's not the image I want to put across either. Why not? Well, they seem to have so many rules and regulations. <laughs> I don't want a girl thinking she's going to have to convert if she goes out with me. Well, what if she's already Jewish? Then I don't want to start the relationship on a lie. And there's no way I'm converting. I don't look good in hats. You seem to have given this quite a lot of thought, Topo. It's a big decision. They need a lot of thought. It's a beard. Well, what does that mean? I mean, you may have overanalyzed what is essentially the facial equivalent of a baseball cap. Uh, are you saying I look like a champ? Oh, Jesus suffering Christ. Look, I've given you my opinion. Do with it what you will. I'm going to the pub.
like it.